Hallmark stars filming Falling Like Snowflakes had too much fun. Hello everyone how are you my name is Alana B. Welcome back to my another video Hallmark is kicking off Christmas in July with the movie Falling Like Snowflakes. This movie stars Rebecca Dalton and Marcus Rosner, who are childhood friends on a mission to photograph a rare 12-sided snowflake. It turns out that the two stars are friends in real life. However, Rosner revealed that this was more of a deterrent. Hallmark star Marcus Rosner recently spoke to U.S. Magazine about his latest Hallmark Christmas in July movie with his friend Rebecca Dalton. He revealed that we had to work to be professional at times when filming Falling Like Snowflakes. He revealed, we're just so relaxed with each other. Moreover, their spouses are friends. The 34-year-old actor is married to producer Allison Croker, while the 35-year-old Dalton is married to former IndyCar driver James Hinchcliffe. The quartet have gone camping together and cottaging. Fans who tune in to the Hallmark Channel's Falling Like Snowflakes on Saturday, June 29, at 8 p.m. Eastern, need to look for the snowplow scene. In the scene, they are supposed to crash. However, Marcus Rosner said they would look at each other, and then we just crack up and start laughing and waste everybody's time. Hallmark has a tight schedule of just about two weeks to film one movie. However, he admits it is pretty easy working with Rebecca Dalton. In addition, he is thankful. The two have worked together many times. Often, it is because of the other's recommendation. He shared that it was her good word that got me this part. So that was something I'm grateful for. However, not everything was fun and games during this Hallmark filming. Originally, they planned to have Marcus drive the snowplow. However, the producer shut him down. Although the idea of him driving this plow was one of the selling points in taking this role, it turns out that the producer was right. I was expecting like a very like idealistic hallmarky plow, and it was indeed one of the big city plows. It also turns out that if there was a real blizzard, that plow had to go to work. Another thing that appealed to Rosner was the science aspect of this script. I had no idea that there were 30...